All right, guys, so we're going to continue with page 77, exercise D. Right, exercise D is asking us to write sentences or questions with would like. Okay, so we can use contractions where possible. The first one has been done for us. He moved abroad, and that's negative. And as you can see, he wouldn't like to move abroad. Would like, negative, is going to be wouldn't like. And then after that, we, uh, we should use two plus infinitive. So we're going to do that. So the question number two is question, guys. So if I want to make question with would like, I should put would before the subject. So here, you is the subject in our example. So what we're going to do is, would you like to climb a mountain? Right? So let's do that. Would you like to climb a mountain? That's it. Would you like to climb a mountain? So it's all good. The number three, and that's a positive sentence. As you can see, it's a plus. Plus sign is a positive. So we go to Canada. If I want to use would like, we would like to go to Canada. So let's try this with contraction. So to do that, we say we and then apostrophe D. That's going to be we'd like. And then after that, we should use verb. And that verb should come with two plus infinitive sorry would would like to go to canada that's it we'd like to go to canada number four is also a positive sentence so i learned to fly a plane i would like to learn to fly a plane or if we're going to use contraction it's going to be i'd like right i'd like to learn fly plane i'd like to learn to fly a plane that's great now five she do karaoke so that's the negative one so she wouldn't like to do karaoke okay let's write it down she wouldn't like to do karaoke that's it number six they get married next year and that's a question so if i want to use would like i'm going to start with would and then i'm going to put that subject would they like to get married next year would they like to get married next year that's it now we're moving to uh, second exercise exercise two so we're moving to exercise two pronunciation and that relates to week week two so this um two plus infinitive uh, so we we say it usually in a weak form in some cases it's going to be like like would they like to get married yeah? you don't need to say to get married for example here yeah? to get married no it's just like to get married would they like to get married next year so because they speak fast english people so two is said in very weak form and we should catch that weak form in listening to understand so exercise a is asking us to listen and complete the sentences sure we're going to do that so let me just play that for you now 11.2 one they're planning to drive to paris so they're planning to drive to Paris. We're going to write it down. So they are planning to drive to. So they're planning to drive to Paris. As you can see here, uh, to is being pronounced as weak form, not to or they're not, they're not saying to drive to Paris, but they're saying like they're planning to drive to Paris. T, t. You just, if you just mention t and that will be, that will be enough. They're planning to drive to Paris. Right? The number two. I hope to see you again. I hope to see you again. So I hope to see you. Okay, we got you as here. So I hope to see you again. Number three. She wants to know the answer. She wants to know the answer. So she wants to know the answer. She wants to know the answer. Number four. You promised to be here at 8. You promised to be here at 8. Okay, so you promised to be here. You promised to be here at 8. And number 5. I forgot to turn off the TV. Okay, so I forgot to turn off the TV. I forgot to turn off. I forgot to turn off the TV. And number 6. Did you remember to buy some milk? Did you remember to buy some milk? Okay, so did you um, remember to buy some milk? Okay, 
Did you remember to buy some milk? B, exercise B is asking us, listen again and repeat. Okay, we're going to do that. Why not? 11.2 1 They're planning to drive to Paris. They're planning to drive to Paris. 2 I hope to see you again. I hope to see you again. 3 She wants to know the answer. She wants to know the answer. 4 You promised to be here at 8. You promised to be here at 8. 5 I forgot to turn off the TV. I forgot to turn off the TV. I forgot, huh? I not forgot. I forgot. Huh? I forgot to turn off the TV. 6 Did you remember to buy some milk? Did you remember to buy some milk? Is it to buy? Did you remember to buy some milk? So the point of this exercise is to show you how we pronounce to in our sentence. Okay, and we got yeah two, another one, two and two, as you can see. So I mean you can you can reverse the video and try to listen again. This two they are pronounced at a very weak form. No, like they're planning to drive to Paris. Uh, to Paris. I hope to see you again. Look, to see you. She wants to know the answer. To to know, not to know. Uh, you promised to be here at eight. To to be. I forgot to turn off. Look, to turn off. To to turn off. To turn off. I forgot to turn off. And did you remember to buy? Did you remember to buy some milk? To buy some milk, not to buy some milk, yeah? Okay, so that makes you sound like native if you try to practice as you hear. Right, Um. yeah, so I'm moving to exercise three, guys. So that relates to vocabulary, verbs that take the infinitive. Basically, exercise A is asking us to match sentence one to eight to sentence A to H. So we've got here numbers, one to eight. And we should match to one of these A to H. Right, we're going to do that. So the first one is done here. My parents give, my parents gave me a car and that F, it matching F here. As you can see here, I'm learning to drive. That's correct. Number two, our, wash, our washing machine is broken. Our washing machine is broken. So we need to buy a new one. That would be G, G, okay. I have a lot of dresses, okay. Yeah, I decided to wear the red one. H matches. I'm going to play tennis tomorrow. I hope to win the match. C is good. And number five, please be quiet because I'm trying to study. A, yes. And number six, we are looking for, we are looking at hotels in the south of France. Okay, so south of France, we are planning to go there, the south of France, there. Huh? South of France on holiday. So E is going to be the answer here. I don't have time to do my homework now. I promise to do it later. B is good. I'm in love with my boyfriend. Okay, we want to get married. All right. Good luck. So that would be D here, guys. Perfect. Right. So that makes us move to the next exercise, which is B. Complete the sentences with verbs from the list. So we've got the verbs here. Decide, forget, hope, leave, need, promise, try, want. And as you can see, want has been used. For number one, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Number two, everything is dirty. We to do the housework. So that would be need, right? We need to do. Okay. And number three, I feel awful. I always to call my aunt on her birthday. So that's forget i always forget because that relates to birthday you will feel awful when you do when you forget to call your aunt on her birthday obviously you feel awful so that's good number four um i'm sorry i was late last night i promise to come home early tonight very good the promise is gone we don't buy snacks we to eat healthily so we decided to eat maybe yeah i think that's good we decided to eat healthily. Great. And so number six, number six, I didn't hope, leave, try. So try is better here. 
try. I didn't try to be an actor until I was 30 years old. Seven, we're going to drive to Germany tomorrow. We need to home very early. So if you're traveling, so we need to leave home, home early, very early. So that's done. And the last one is goodbye. I hope to see you again soon. And that's it. So we can move to the next exercise now. So exercise C. This exercise is asking us to use words to write questions. And we should use present simple form of the verbs. All right. Now the first one is done. Where? Want to go next summer? So for present simple, we use do, does. For you, we use do, obviously. So where do you want to go to? Sorry, where do you want to go next summer? Great. So number two, which places want to visit? That means like which places do you want to visit, right? So we'll write it down. So which places, which places do you want to visit? Number three, when hope retire when do you hope to retire number three so when do you hope to retire number three is done number four what sometimes forget take on holiday what do you sometimes forget so sometimes we should use before the verb so what do you sometimes forget and after forget we is to take to take on holiday All right, let's do that so what do you sometimes forget to take on holiday? What do you sometimes forget to take on holiday? And number five, what need by this week? So that would be obviously we're doing present simple because the exercise is asking us to do the, to do the present simple guys. Yeah. So what do you need to buy this week? After need, we should use two plus infinitive. So what do you need to buy? What do you need to buy next week what do you need to buy next week and then the number six when try do english homework again after try we say to do and present simple we should use when do you try to do english homework okay when do you try to do english homework when do you try to do english homework that's it well, exercise D is asking us now to answer the question and see about you. Mm, okay, so let's do that. So where do you want to go next summer? Okay, I want to go abroad. Let's make it short, right? I want to go abroad. Or you can say I want to go to the UK or I want to go to China. No problem next year. How is that? I want to go to China next year. Or next summer, right? Was it next summer? So we can change this next summer. Why not? Here you go. And number two, which places do you want to visit? I want to visit historical places. I want to visit historical places. Okay, I want to visit historical places. And number three, when do you hope to retire? Oh my God. Okay, so I'm not even thinking about it, right? So I can say like, I hope to retire. I hope to retire when I am, let's say like 70 years old. Why not? I hope to retire when I'm 70. In number four, what do you sometimes forget to take on holiday? Hmm. Toothpaste. Yeah. I sometimes forget to take my towel and toothpaste or tooth yeah toothpaste it's an example yeah i sometimes forget to take my towel and toothpaste right number five what do you need to buy next week okay i need to buy i need to buy some fruit and vegetables i need to buy some fruit and vegetables next week when do you try to do english homework I try to do English homework. I try to do, I try to do my English homework in the evening. I try to do my English homework in the evening and that's it guys. So 77, page 77 is done. And in the next video, we're gonna continue with 11C. So that's enough for now. Thanks for your time and have a good one. Bye now.